So more in our series here at the Bower Camino. With me is Grace, uh, Year 12, mm -hmm. and I'm just getting more views of what's been going on. So for you, uh, three months off, that was not a holiday for you, obviously. But how was it to be focused to work when you were doing it all remotely? Um, I found some of my subjects quite easy to keep up with. So I went and got a load of Year 13 books on the last day. So I found teaching myself maths has been quite easy, but other subjects where it's a lot more kind of in class, getting taught by the teacher based like biology, I found that quite difficult to teach myself. And how remotely are you working? Because I've already heard that from a teacher that you had no uh, video interaction. I mean, that's no. pretty hard. I'd have thought that would be very helpful to have that. Yeah, that would have been helpful. I did one trial lesson for maths but that never really kind of yeah. took off it's pretty much all been messages over the google classroom and work set like multiple choice papers and other papers set over the google classroom so all the exams you'd be sitting how has that now been worked out because you, you you obviously haven't sat down had an exam right yeah i don't really know very much about it we've been told that we're getting predicted grades based on our progress this year so on our mocks and homework and other assessments but I'm not really sure what's going to happen. And has this affected you for going on to university? Do you think? I am a bit worried about it because I was planning on kind of pulling it out the bag a bit in the exam because it hadn't I'd been shocked at the start of the year. You want these just-in-time people are you? Did yeah. Do the work yeah. at the last minute okay. I kind of treated it as GCSE ah. the same as that and didn't revise as much as I could have done. I definitely changed my attitudes after my marks but I don't think it was soon enough so that is a little bit scary knowing the grades I could be applying to university with might not be very good. Mm. But everyone else in the same situation I suppose. Yeah. You know, so do you think it's going to affect your career, your future, whatever? I think long term no because I've managed to keep up with my work mostly and I think when we get back into school the teachers will do their best to bring us back up to speed with it. Mm -hmm. um, so in long term no, short term I think it has affected my learning this year but I'm just really hoping that I can catch up. What did you miss the most of school life? I do miss my friends a lot. I miss the routine and actually having a teacher there to have set time is teaching me stuff and then I know that I can, if I don't understand I can kind of let it wash over me and then go and consolidate it at home. Whereas at home I've not really had that. You didn't have the discipline to get up and sit down in between yeah. certain hours? At the start of lockdown I had that but I've it kind of, it's definitely slipped away, especially yeah. over the TT break. Is it, is, it, is it almost weird to coming back on Monday then, do you think? It will be a bit strange, yeah. I came in for a day a few weeks ago before TT and that was very strange sitting in all day. I think it definitely will be weird coming back, but I'm very glad that we're coming back even though it's only for a few weeks. And this big big question everyone asks about mental health and how you felt and you know how it concerned you. How how do you sum that up, you know, the whole business that three months? I think it has been difficult for a lot of people. I have been working still at m and and I've been talking to people when they've come through the till and a lot of them have said that it's been really difficult, especially if they live alone, really difficult kind of getting the social interactions to keep their mental health up. Personally, I've got my family around me and that's kind of kept me sociable and work has kept me sane, I think, because I've still been having the social interactions, but I think if some people have been locked down in their house on their own for a long time they will have been struggling quite a lot and now it's all back to know social distancing must be amazing because you could have come back into here to find yourself all spaced out yeah i wasn't expecting that at all no. it still feels very very weird being close to people and not having to kind of get out of the way and say sorry and things like that but i think it, it's definitely much it's going to be much much easier not having to do like one-way systems and staying two meters away from everyone else we can just get on with class as it was normally with science we can go back into labs and do practicals and stuff because we're not having to keep the distance and how was marxies by the way working there was that that weird thing of the yeah it's been strange because usually i'm in the cafe so i've been moved down to the oh, food hall yeah and that was a massive change in itself but i've really enjoyed it because it's been a different experience and I've been able to talk to more people. I so that's helpful, isn't it? Yeah, because usually in work I wouldn't talk to people very much because they're just straight through the till really quickly. But I've been having like five minute conversations with people and it has actually been really nice. I've made a lot of new friends and I've learned a lot about kind of people whilst I've been down there. I've been 
talking, when people have been coming through the till, I said, oh, have you been working from home? Are you still in work? And the people that have said they've been working from home have all said that they preferred staying in, they preferred to be in work, which has surprised me. So I've been kind of using my position on the till to find out a lot more about people during lockdown. Well, good luck with your career. And what, what do you want to do? Medicine. Oh, that's going to be the yeah. subject of the day, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be, yeah, difficult, but...